Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22, y'all, and today we are jumping back in at the start of a brand new day. Now, we're upstairs in the house, we just woke up, and I figured that it would be a great time to introduce you guys to a brand new project of mine right here on our property in Farming Simulator 22. So let's walk downstairs and let's head out back, because this project involves, let's just say... Uh, let's just say cutting a path through the woods is probably gonna be our first order of business. So, beautiful morning out here, by the way. A little bit of fog going on, but not too bad. Not a bad way to start the day at all. Now, if you guys remember from the last episode, we did a little bit of mowing, as you can see, uh, which is very evident by the fact that the grass out here in front of the house has been cut. However, it is starting to grow back already, which is a little bit disheartening because I spent a, a fair amount of time cutting that. Now, back here behind our property, if you look right back there beyond the trees, there is an area that can only be described as the basis for either off-road trails or an off-road park. And so, with that in mind, what I wanted to do first was I wanted to kind of mow a pathway back to where, you know, where that sort of starts, and then we'll kind of figure out if we need to cut some trees down or not. So, first thing we're going to do is fire up the bobcat. And then, we will raise this cutting deck up, and let's just see if we can, okay, there we go. Let's just see if we can get that raised up. We'll drive it back there, and then we'll start cutting the pathway. Now, normally, yes, you would map out the pathway for exactly where you're going to go, but I think I have a pretty good idea of where we're heading to with this. So, let's see. That down, and we can start cutting. This thing makes such short work of, like, cutting any pathway that you could ever imagine. And I think we're just going to make a slight left turn right here and just continue back on into where the off-road area starts. So what you guys are looking at is what I can basically say is a brilliant test area for any off-road vehicles that we legitimately ever buy or own in this particular game. So let's go ahead and back this guy up. And then we'll kind of cut it so it's twice the width that we had before. Let's drive our way on back, and then we'll have this pathway all nice and mowed. We got some logs down there that we still need to get rid of. We still need to put, like, I don't know if we're going to mulch them up or chop them up and sell the firewood. Either way, we got to get, you know, we got to get that stuff under control. But let me park this guy up right here, and we'll turn the mower off, and then we'll shut the engine down. Now, what we need to do next is we need to go and grab something that'll work well as a way to sort of test out the viability of that area as an off-roading area. Also, I'm kind of upset that it didn't get rid of these bushes. Normally, it does get rid of those bushes, but either way, we mowed a pathway back there. Do we want to cut some of these down? I think I want to cut at least one of them. Um, this one and that one probably need to come down. So let's go ahead and we'll face it this way. That one's all chopped up and ready, and down it goes. That's actually the exact right way I wanted it to fall as well. Kind of bounced back a little bit, but we can fix that. So now I want to go ahead and get rid of this one as well. We'll sort of face it that same direction and see if it's willing to fall the direction that I hope it's willing to fall. That angle, I was really hoping that that angle was going to work for it too. All right, perfect. So now all we got to do is we've got to get rid of those stumps. Now, let me just kind of ease this tree back that way a little bit. And now we got to bring the grinder out here. The grinder will legitimately tear up everything in its path, so we kind of have to be careful with it. But let's fire it up. It doesn't sound like much, but I promise you, this thing eats absolutely everything. It's like Bobcatzilla is basically what I call this thing. It's not very fast, but it really doesn't need to be. Hold on. I'm gonna turn on the mulcher real quick. Remember how I said that I wanted to get rid of those bushes? Oh my god, I still haven't gotten rid of them. Either way, I mean, I'm just happy to be clearing out a pathway, to be brutally honest with you. All right. Let's get these stumps gone. Oh, well, that went well. All right, let's lift you up. Oh, no. Back it up. We lift you up at all? Whoa! Oh! Oh, it's got a dedicated height setting. Okay, and then now you can bring it back down. Perfect! Okay. 
And now, since we've been cutting a, uh, a direct route in the ground, I might as well keep the mulcher on the ground. I know I'm just tearing up the grass at this point, but I think that that's okay. I mean, if we're building a pathway, that should be fine to begin with anyway. All right, so let's lift you up. And then let's move this guy around. And we'll start to, I don't know what the heck was that thing's problem, but bring it down. There we go, easy. Wow, it was not a fan of that. Oh, did we get the rest of it? Okay, we got the rest of it. Beautiful. All right, let's put you back down now. And since we're already doing this anyway, we might as well mulch the rest of a pathway all the way back to where the off-road park area is supposed to start. And that should do the trick for that. Now, I'm sure that the further, like, you know, the parts of this that are, like, a little bit closer to the house are going to need some work. But with that in mind, I'm going to run back to the house now, and I'm going to grab one of my off-road rigs, and we're going to come out here to this off-road area and see if it's any good. So let's see. What do we have in here? Well, we're definitely not going to take the M4 GTS, that's for sure. We should probably take... Ooh, we should probably take the 4-tracks. The 4-tracks will probably do pretty well at this, but we could also take... Oh, we could also take the come and swapped Ford. I'll tell you what, since I'm looking at both vehicles that are around that door and not the middle door, um, we'll open the farthest right door and we'll see what this thing actually thinks of that off-road area. Let's fire you up. This thing is loud. It is super loud. It's definitely on a hot tune as well because like you can see how much coal it's rolling. The path is a pretty decent size, though. I want to get rid of some of those branches, but other than that, I think it's good to go. Okay, so what's going to be our best approach here? Let's see if we can go straight in. Not bad. Not too shabby, actually. We got to figure out a good way to... Yo, I see a trail. Literally just ahead, I see a freaking trail. Oh, this is perfect main thing we got to make sure of is that we don't get the truck too twisted up and get it stuck because we don't really have anything that we can use to come rescue it if it does. Oh, here we go. Yo, this thing is actually doing really, really well. That rear diff doesn't seem to be as locked as I would, whoa, as I would like it to be, but you got to be really careful where you're positioned because if you're in the wrong spot and then eventually the power builds up, you're gonna you're gonna launch yourself, and it's not gonna be all that pretty. Nice and easy. It's flexing now. It's actually flexing a lot. Ooh. Oh, there we go. I can't believe that we legitimately found a freaking trail, like right here outside the house. Oh, that's a flex shot. That's like super tucked in the front got to be super gentle on the throttle. Oh my god. I feel like I would have possibly broken something by now. I also have a feeling that those leaf springs don't really like flexing that far, but that's beside the point. It's fine. I really do think that we're onto something though with this trail, and I think that clearing a path to it was probably the, one of the best things we could have decided to do. Now, let me make my way down through here, and actually... Can we use this as a trail exit? And more importantly, can we run this trail in the opposite direction? I think we can. Let's get you turned around. It might actually run better in the opposite direction, come to think of it. All right, let's head back on up. Oh yeah, that's actually a really easy climb. Super easy climb. Now the biggest thing we gotta think about is can we get back down and, we can, and can we do it a little bit more cleanly than we did on the last run? See, we're dro we dropped a tire down in a hole right there. It was... Oh, wow. This trail, I mean, it might not look like much, but it can get real sketchy real quick. Let's see if I can turn you back to where we were facing before. Not bad, dude. Like, and the actual off-road capabilities of this, like, come and swap Ford are, like, absolutely top-notch. They are through the roof. But you know what? I've got to say, this thing did amazing on that little back trail. And the fact that we have one, like, right behind the house is probably one of the coolest parts. 
Let's drive this back to the house now and we'll park it in the garage. And then I'll try to figure out how we can sort of flesh out that, uh, that on-property off-road park idea and maybe even have a mountain bike section for it. If we can have a mountain bike section for it, that would be the freaking best. So let's shut this thing down and then hop out of the truck. And then I'm gonna start to uh, shut the garage door. We're gonna sprint out before it closes on us. And at this point, I think we're really on to something with this off-road trail right behind the house. Now, obviously, we got to do a little bit more forestry stuff. We got to clear more trees. And then we've also got to figure out what we want to do with this swamp because we also own that too. And the fact that, that we have room for even more vehicles makes me also excited to potentially buy a new truck soon. So, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys next time. Talk to you all later. Hope you all enjoyed.